What is going on guys, Marvel's here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be hitting 4th Prestige in Black Ops 3 as we're level 55 and we're able to finally hit 4th Prestige. Uh, Double XP weekend has just finished and I just hit level 55 as it ended, but I didn't really play a ton of multiplayer, uh, I was like, I was hoping to get well into 4th Prestige, but I did play quite a bit of zombies and as you can see I'm level 20 and I prestige during the weekend, so that's pretty cool. As for challenges, we're on 37%, almost done that challenge as you can see below need 100 kills and that's a pretty cool title so I'd quite like that um quite low percent honestly but obviously as I'll get like higher on the road to master prestige I will hopefully get like a lot higher percent like my zombies as you can see but moving on to the barracks let's check out my actual stats we got 9,909 kills 316 wins and 1.28 million score which is pretty cool the KD is 1.68 which is about the same as last time I believe uh or something very similar to that and my win loss is 2.43 which is i think it fell a little bit since last prestige i think last prestige it was something like 2.5 maybe so it's fallen a little bit <coughs> and the score per minute is three points no 371 which i think's actually increased by a tiny bit i'm not 100 percent sure though but there's my showcase we got the fresh start rubber the survivalist master for doing all the challenges in zombie survival list and the star which you get from a promotion uh, on Black Ops 3. So as for weapons we still have the CUDA reigning on top and the guns I've mainly been using this procedure have been the CUDA, the Man of War and I've started using the KN44 a little bit more. Uh, all of those guns are absolutely insane since the recent patch and you should try them out if you haven't already. I uh, haven't actually got any gold guns this prestige I don't think. I've sort of like given up a bit on going for gold guns. I can't really be bothered to grind out these guns which I don't really like to use. So I'm just sort of relaxing on that a little bit but as for specialists I've been using, what have I been using? I think I've been using the active camo and the gravity spikes guy quite a bit this prestige as I am still going for the hero armor for these specialists and as you can see here I've got 110 kills with this guy and 54 kills the gravity spikes. Honestly I don't even like using the gravity spikes but I like have to while I'm using this specialist specialist whilst doing the challenges so a uh, bit unfortunate there but the purifier still reigns on top and I'd say that is probably one of the best specialists uh, it's sort of situational like the scythe the scythe can be really good at long distances but the purifier is really good close distances <clears throat> as for equipment trophy systems all I really use concussions from time to time but not super often score streaks uh, the UAV 2000 assists which are pretty cool but honestly it's like I'm considering not even using it because people just shoot them down so quickly in this game. It's unreal and they take quite a while to get compared to the other CODs. Uh, what kill streaks have I been using? I've been using a little bit of the Cerberus and the Talon as well as the Guardian a little bit. And where is that? It's only got seven. Oh wait, that's the HTXD. What am I doing? I've had seven kills of the Guardian, which is pretty cool considering how difficult it is to get kills of them. As for game modes, I've been playing a lot of TDM and Kill Confirmed and a little bit of Free For All and Search and Destroy I've started playing. Uh, Kill Confirmed I played a lot during Double XP and TDM I played quite a bit before Double XP so that's pretty cool. The wind loss in them is about standard. Free For All wind loss is actually pretty good but I don't really play it often because I find a lot of people like camp and stuff in Free For All and it can get a bit annoying. And that is all of my stats in Black Ops 3 thus far. 800 headshots, 3 ruthless medals, 1 super kill. 8 ripped up medals which I don't know what they are and 110 from the shadow kills which are kills using active camo. So that is all of my stats in Black Ops 3 and we're going to jump straight into Prestige 4. We get a pretty cool title for doing it which I quite like and the emblem for Prestige 4 is alright. I'd probably prefer third honestly but it doesn't look too bad I'd say and there we go. We are 4th Prestige. We've done it and we have a permanent unlock and I haven't thought about what I want to keep at all. Uh, so we're just going to quickly look through all of these. already kept the Man of War and the KM44 you get a level 1 so I can't even keep that if I wanted to. The Brecky is pretty good. What level is it? Oh it's level 1 as well. Rip. I don't even know what to keep man. I really don't know what to keep. Uh, we have like, a couple of weapons here. Um, what about like lethals you don't really want. Perks. Flak jacket level 5. It's like eh. What about tactical mask? That's level 14. That's quite an early unlock honestly but I use it a lot. So it might be pretty good. What about Primary Gunfighter? Level 16? Oh, I'm tempted to actually keep Primary Gunfighter this prestige. 
just because I don't really feel like I need to keep any other weapons. So I'm just going to keep the primary gunfighter. And I like to rock a load of attachments on my gun. So that's pretty cool. And there we have it. Fourth prestige in Black Ops 3 multiplayer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to keep through in permanent unlocks. Uh, what you've kept through so far. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more Black Ops 3 videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video.